Hello, my wealthy, beautiful viewers. This is Professor Stamps. Today, I'm taking you from homely to Harvard. Here at Stampede University, we pride ourselves on teaching with honesty. And can I be honest with you guys? Please don't be offended, but you compare yourselves to YouTubers and it's toxic. What you're seeing is five to six hours of editing and perfection, right? But what you don't see is the progress. I'm very flattered that my students are inspired by my leveling up videos, but I think it's unfair if you don't see the rough draft. So let's take a trip down memory lane. Okay, so I'll whip out a picture. This is from when I was 12 years old. So this is why I was bullied. My face is the shape of a chicken nugget. If I had known this back then, I would have picked the right frames for me. These sultry, Professor frames are from I Buy Direct. I did not make this choice off of what is trendy. I based it off of my lifestyle and needs. My lifestyle is pretending to be a professor to you guys. So I think this cat eye frame called Sphinx, by the way, medium with glasses, red, mm, was just appropriate for this. I also actually have a second pair. Wait, right here. Here, sip some water. This second pair here, in black, these are called Present. They are in the large size. I really like these as well, and I plan to wear these when I have a ponytail, when I want to be researcher stamps. Bottom line, you're not ugly. You just have lots of potential. Use your money wisely to get an affordable and fashionable pair of glasses if you have bad vision like myself. I Buy Direct is sort of a one-stop shop emporium of over 1,000 frames. Leveling up in my world doesn't just pertain to maintaining good physical appearance, but also maintaining my health. And my eyes need to be healthy to keep my eyes on the American dream. And my American dream is working from home right now to make a million dollars. I work for my computer editing YouTube videos for over five to six hours, so I need to protect my eyes. And these actually have something called blue light blocking so it's reducing strain and I have less headaches. So I will leave a little discount code below in the description box as well as a link. Get yourself some glasses, get your little blue light blocking lenses, keep your eyes healthy, keep your rich energy healthy. Investing in one solid pair of long-lasting, stylish glasses was my first step to leveling up. Second was learning how to let my skin breathe so I can stop spending so much money on a full face of makeup. You always see me chugging water. It's not because it's delicious and it looks great in this wine glass. It's because I love water and it actually made my skin clearer, I think, over time. Maybe it was a placebo effect. I don't know, but I believed it and it started to help. My diet used to be all chicken and waffles. Not even kidding, chicken, waffle, gravy, collard greens, greasy Thanksgiving food. And since then I stopped eating that way, dramatically increased my water intake. Be careful though. And I found a skincare routine that works for me. I don't use a whole bunch of skincare products. I actually just use like face wash, just a tiny amount. I have exfoliating gloves. I gently wash away the dirt and debris and I moisturize my face with extra virgin olive oil and my entire body or coconut oil. I just use what comes from the earth because it's cheap and it works. But again, that's what works for me. But I realized, hmm, these companies are making me spend so much money on face wash, moisturizer, serum, toner, and it's actually making my skin worse because my skin became dependent on it. But here at Stanford University, we are dependent on nobody except ourselves. So I started looking cute around age 20. 
So if you're a teenager and you still look like that picture you just saw, fear not, don't, it's fine. There's still time. You guys have it easy, first of all. I had to look like that and I had a little backpack. I started to look cute around 20 and inevitably I started to attract dust. I was like a nice new piece of furniture and dust was just collecting around me. I was essentially attracting crusty guys from the past who I have outgrown. I've learned to not operate out of guilt. For example, um, I had an on and off thing with this dusty guy. Kind hearted, good guy, lots of love to give, but love doesn't pay bills, I'm sorry. He had absolutely no aspirations to do anything. No hobbies, he just wanted to do unhealthy things all day long and wanted me to be his therapist. I can be a YouTube professor, but I am not Captain Save a Dusty. A brief rendezvous out of guilt will become a date out of guilt, which will become a relationship out of guilt. Then you're in a 10 year marriage out of guilt and you're living with a man child. Or if you're a man watching, you're living with a woman child. She already put her toothbrush in your bathroom, repainted your walls and you can't get rid of her. But you have a job offer in Australia. She said, no, don't leave. She doesn't want you to go be on the Barbie, eating prawns. You have to take care of her now. Don't operate out of guilt. That will be your future. You deserve your prawns on the Barbie. Once you master the art of being assertive, you will inevitably start to bump heads. You will trigger people without trying, like I do sometimes. You will upset them with your confidence and your unbotheredness. Somebody who has truly rich energy doesn't get her or his manicured hands dirty. Think of all the really wealthy people out there who have butted heads. They have lawyers do the dirty work for them. Let your lawyers do the fighting. Okay, we're not that rich here yet. Yet, most of you watching are 18 to 25 to 30 according to my analytics. We don't have lawyers yet, that's okay. Let your energy do the fighting. Trust me, I have been wronged so many times in my life and success is always the best revenge. Trust me, I I end up on the weird part of the internet. I'm like, black market, how to arrange a hit on somebody. It's never worth it. But that's just my style. I'm not a fighter. I'm, I'm, I'm a tiramisu eater, K-pop enthusiast, uh, once fan of twice. I am a stay, stray kids, I am a blink. I am many things, but I am not hood stamps. I push my struggle bangs back and just face the world and stay busy with my work. Class, I know my videos are long. Please bear with me. Please, you waited nine months to come out of the womb. You can wait two more minutes for my last tidbit of advice on leveling up. I recommend always leaving situations with grace, bad situations meaning like a breakup or a severed business contract. Dita Bontis is my inspiration. That woman is the pinnacle of elegance and she said to always leave a relationship kindly, even if they did you dirty. You know why? Because my second inspiration, Shara Seven on YouTube, she's this like Southern debutante. She says that we don't have eyes in the back of our heads because we're meant to look forward. And that is in regards to relationships. We've all encountered a breakup. I personally want to go scorched earth, but it's not worth it. You know why? Because she said in a video, if you air out your frustrations on social media, oh, he did me dirty. Oh, you missed your shot. You take your little, you know, your little picture showing off saying, oh, Look what you're missing out on. Girl, he's not missing out on anything. He's already moved on. I hate when people do that because you think you're getting even, but you're not. You're looking dusty. And like Shara said in her video, when you do that, you look insecure. You're attracting more dust because dusties like vulnerable people. You're setting yourself up to get used again. Don't go scorched earth on social media or bad mouthing everybody in your town because you are putting a target on your own back. You're asking for another Dusty to break your heart. So my next class is waiting outside. They're gonna come in. Yes, all 
330,000 of my students are gonna fit in this small Manhattan bedroom somehow. Well, thank you class. Um, we are adjourned here. Goodbye, do your studying. Look up Dita Von Teese, look up Shara Seven. These are my two favorite people who I look up to in regards to my lifestyle. Goodbye.